Okay, in this one, the writing's small, so I'll, I'll say this. In the diagram below, angle D, E, F. So we can follow those dots, D, E, F. It's that angle right there, 26 degrees. And F, E, G. So let's follow those points. Here's F, E, and G. So that's this angle right here. We don't know, that, know what it is. Um, but we know that those that this blue angle and red angle are complementary, which means that if I add them up, I get oh, 90 degrees, right? Complementary is for 90 degrees. So what is the measure? They ask here, what is the measure of FEG? And show your work. Well, let's add this up. Angle D E F. I would write that. That's our first angle. Plus angle F E G. They're complementary, so we know they have to equal 90 degrees when I add them. And we know the value of DEF as 26 degrees. They gave us that. We don't know the value of FEG, but I know that if I add them up, I get 90. So I'm just going to subtract 26 degrees from both sides of this equation, and that will tell me the value of X. So X equals 64 degrees. So here x is just 64 degrees, and that's our that's angle FEG, I called it x. Alright, and here they say, what is the measure of x, angle x? Well again, one way to solve this is to recognize that this angle, which is 75 degrees, and angle x sit on this straight line. So if I add them up, I have to get 180 degrees, they're, they're supplementary. So to figure out the missing value, I'm just going to take 180 and subtract 75 from it and I get 105 degrees as the value of X choice C in this problem right here it says line segment L so that is this line segment right here and line segment M that's this line segment right here intersect at the center of the circle what is the measure of x? So x is just this variable right here and represents this angle. So again, all we have to do is recognize where, where perhaps our straight line is if we have it, and we have it right here. So that means that x plus, it's hard to see, x plus 47 has to add up to 180. So again, I'm just going to subtract 47 from 180. x will equal that. And what do I get? Well, x 180 minus 40 is 140, minus 7 is 133. So in this case, angle x is 133 degrees. So in this case, it says, what is the measure of angle x in the diagram shown below? Well, here you can tell that we have this straight line. And this symbol right here looks like a square. means That's a 90 degree angle. So now, on this straight line, which takes up this whole arc, we have, that's 180 degrees. But we already know that this is 90, so we take 90 away. And then we know that this angle here is 67. So x has to equal the full arc, 180, minus this 90 degree chunk right here, and then minus this 67 degree chunk, because that's what's left over, is this angle right there. So 180 minus 90 is 90. Minus 67 is 23. So the answer here is A, 23 degrees.